two others, but up first here, we've got Barney Hayden and Miranda Alize. Let's go to the ring. And fans, we see that the competitors already in the ring here. Of course, both of these girls uh, were participants in the Gail Kim Diamond Division's title invitational tournament. They were eliminated in the first round, and so uh, this is kind of a, a, a second round, N not a second round, but a... a uh, it's a basically a loser versus loser. Well, I don't want to call any of these girls losers because both well, of them are very, very accomplished, especially Barbie Hayden. I didn't say that they were losers as an overall. I'm saying in this tournament they were the two losers, but that's okay because guess what? We can call this a redemption match. That's great because I have a feeling that whoever comes out victorious in this would have to be considered a strong contender for the ultimate winner in that Gail Kim Invitational Tournament. As we see Barbie Hayden now taking over on the arm of Miranda Alizé. Referee Nick Chin keeping an eye on the action. Uh, Keep your chin out of it, Nick. <laughs> as Hayden with the hammerlock driving the knee now into that, uh, that left arm, working over the left arm of Miranda Alizé. Barbie, the blonde bombshell from Texas, always one of my favorites to get to see because, I mean, we Texans represent each other proud. And Barbie definitely doing that with a nice little arm wrench there. And you'll notice that Miranda Alizé, although Barbie Hayden working over the left arm, Miranda Alizé wearing some of that keto tape on the right arm of the other. So she may be walking out of this match with uh, injuries to both of her shoulder areas, which would not be good for her. Hayden with a quick knee to the midsection now continuing to work over that left arm here as Miranda tries to grab the rope. That simple little adjustment there by Barbie took her right back to the middle and again, and there it is, once again just wrenching very lightly on the arm there, enough to get some pressure and wrenching now again back to the center of the ring. I'll be very interested to see how the performers tonight as we see Alize finally make it to the rope to force the break. Oh, but Hayden, I don't think Hayden actually broke the, the hold. No, she just went straight to the arm drag to get her away from the rope. I, I'm assuming that that's still within the rules here. Well, Nick Chin not forcing the break, so I guess we'll continue on with this. As I was saying, I'll be interested to see how the performers tonight adapt to working in an outside environment. As you can see, we're in an open air situation here, and that is uh, unusual for a lot of uh, independent professional wrestling, but... These uh, two do not seem to be having any troubles with it so far, and believe me, Oh, it's... look at that. I can see a number one fan right there. And there's another one right there in the background, too. <laughs> it's very hot out here, here in the, in the colony, in, in Lava Cantina. Oh, Barbie Hayden scooping up Miranda, but Miranda slides down, shoves Barbie off. Oh, quick go behind, and... A I... nice knockdown there by yeah. Miranda. And Alizé... Uh... Alize kind of proud of herself for that. All right. Yeah, she goes down, hooks both legs, but only gets a one count out of it. Well, you mentioned about being on fire here because, I mean, the, the name of the place is Lava, so I think that speaks for itself. As we see right now, the red-hot Miranda just draping Barbie over that middle rope, choking her with that knee to the back of the neck there. And now just a simple slingshot from the middle row sends Barbie back on the back. And here it goes. Cover in. There's a two, but not enough to keep Barbie down. Well, as we mentioned, we are emanating here uh, from northern Texas. Of course, Barbie Hayden from College Station, Texas. So, And I'm a proud is, representative of Border, Texas. This is uh, pretty much a, a near hometown advantage for her. And these fans come out to support their Texas girl. And so I have a feeling that Miranda Alizé is... Um, well, she's not getting the warm welcome that perhaps she expected when she walked in here. Alize going to work now on the back of Barbie Hayden. And, and now doing the same thing oh, that Barbie was doing. Yes, absolutely. But, but uh, the more vicious is she's just blatantly biting on the finger while driving the knee into the lower back of Hayden. Now going again, scoots in. Now notice how she hooks both legs. She knows that she is... Technically the smaller competitor in this match, although there isn't a tremendous size difference, but I think she understands that she's going to have to exert more power in order to try to keep Hayden down for that three count. Well, of course, we know Barbie Hayden's accomplishments. She's a former NWA Women's Champion. It's not anything that I'm sure Miranda is not well aware of. So I, I kind of respect Miranda, kind of going to some dirty tactics there to take on the, I would assume, the veteran in Barbie here. Alizé now ramming Hayden's head, introducing her to two of the four, for the four turn buckles. There's number three as well. Are we going to go do -si do all the way around? Uh, I think Alizé has a different plan in mind here. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. No, 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 wait. Oh! 
Well, a fourth turnbuckle, but not the one that most of us were expecting, and a very unique method of doing. Now, look at Al with Alize with the leverage pulling back, gets a two count out of it. I'll say this: Alize is extremely focused. She knows the reputation of Barbie Hayden, and I think she understands what a win. Not even just discounting the fact that this could potentially, as you said, be a redemption match for contendership for the ultimate winner of this title. She understands what it would mean to her brand to beat Incoming. over Barbie Hayden. That nice driving drop kick there in the corner drags Hayden out of the corner again, hooks both legs. And very close there, but again, Nick Chin says only two. It's a strategy that I don't really see much of anymore when you hook those two legs there. I've always thought it was a smart strategy, and Miranda showcasing her intelligence over this. That's very sound in-ring work there by Miranda. Again, got to give her props here. Alizé continuing to work over the back of Barbie Hayden. And now it looks like she's pumping it up. And oh, got charged in, but only to be greeted with an elbow from Barbie Hayden. Hayden now intercepting Alizé and knee to the midsection. There's another one, but Alizé fires back with a shot to the midsection herself. Oh, now perching Barbie with this, uh, this time. Now we're going to go upstairs. This uh, this has not been the area that either of these women have chilled. Oh, and now Drayton just oh, Drayton right, right, hitting right. over. No, Barbie actually has a hold of the arm. Oh, you're right. I, the, the camera angle obscured that, but that was Barbie in control of that. Barbie stretching that arm out, and as, as we mentioned. That veteran sound maneuver there. Oh, uh, now Barbie fell, but only to land right across both knees, almost like a code breaker like maneuver. But again, only enough for two, not quite enough for three. High impact moves. And you can see from the uh, the expression on Barbie Hayden's face that this is this entire match has taken quite a lot out of her. She has been on the receiving end of a, a huge amount of punishment for the duration, all of all since like the opening couple of minutes of this match. Here comes Alize, but again, meets that back straight, elbow. Straight to the elbow. Now up to the feet. And Alize trying once again to get some, some momentum built up, but it's gonna be Hayden. Yes. Hayden charging in, Hayden locking up on the legs. We've seen this before from Barbie Hayden. She's going to take her over. Yes. Scissor takeover. And Hayden now off the road. Sit down drop kick. And now hooks her in. Brutal yeah. suplex. Beautiful execution. Great bridge. And that's not enough either. We both know many competitors who put away a lot of wrestlers with that very move. Obviously, Kurt Hennig being the, the most famous, but Harley Race as well. Barbie Hayden not able to put Miranda Alizé down with that. And Seguri. And Seguri straight to the side of the head. And a cutter. Jinx you, homie. Oh, I'll pay it for you later. We'll see if Alizé can get the win here. Oh, Woo. man. Oh. My, my fellow Texan there kicking out at the last possible second. About two and a three quarters count there from referee Nick Chen. But look at this. Oh, Barbie. Look out. Well, I thought maybe the Barbie's going for a triangle choke. No, she's going for an arm bar. Yeah. She's locking up. There the it is. There it is. Awesome. And a tap out. And there is no getting out of that. <laughs> Barbie Hayden proving once again why she has been at the top of the women's division for many, many territories. And with a great victory, a redemptive victory here in this match against Miranda Alizé.